Hey everybody, Mungo Dark Matter here, and today I'm going to show you how to use Hydrogen, which is a free drum machine that's available in Windows, Mac, and Linux. Now you can use Hydrogen whether you want to just use it as a metronome or a drum machine for practicing. You can use it to create beats. Uh, you can uh, export it into uh, other DAWs and music programs as either a MIDI file or as a WAV file if you want. All right, so let's get started. Uh, as you can see, there are a couple of panes here. The top pane creates songs, and, and the songs are made out of patterns. So you can see there are 10 patterns listed, but you can actually have more patterns if you want to. These are just the basics to start. Down here is where you edit each pattern. Once you have the pattern edited, up here is where you put the patterns together to create a song, which you'll see a little bit later. Down over to the right here, you'll see you have an instrument tab here in each instrument that you select has uh, parameters that you can set, attack, decay, uh, sustain, release, etc. So you can mess with each uh, different type of drum that you're programming. And then over here you have what's called the sound library. In the sound library you can actually import different drum kits. Uh, by default, it comes with the GM kit and the TR-808 emulator kit. And uh, I, I loaded a hip hop uh, kit on here, and you can get a bunch that are on the web. Uh, you can also load different songs into this and play them that have already been programmed in. So you can share them, and you can download some that are, are uh, on, on the web if you uh, find some. So that's another thing you may be able to find. Uh, some drum songs and beats that you can use for other things. All right, then the uh, other thing that we have up here, if we click up here at the very top on this thing called Mixer, we can bring that forward. And this actually mixes the track, so you can change the volume of the uh, different tracks or the different instruments or drums that make up the track. So we can close that for now. So let's start with a simple pattern. Uh, let's say you wanted to use this for just a simple metronome to start with. You could pick any one of these uh, instruments here, and we're going to use the uh, we're going to use the cowbell. And so I'm going to set this uh, the size is eight. That's the length of the measure basically and the resolution is how small of a uh, note whether it's an eight note or a sixteenth note right now it now it's set to a sixteenth note you can change these things i can just set it to an eighth note uh, for this demonstration right here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have the cowbell right here and we're just going to To a regular uh, count of one, two, three, four with it. So if we play it, you can see up here at the top, pattern selected. If you select song, it will actually play the song that's up here that we're going to see a little later. And I'm going to play this. All right, so now if we want to um, kind of accent the first beat of this, what we can do is we can go down to velocity here and raise this up. And then we're going to lower these. The velocity changes uh, how hard the cowbell is being hit. So it will accent the first beat of the measure. So if we play it again now, you can see the first beat is a little bit louder. Now, you can do that... Um, on any track or any instrument uh, and you can change uh, kind of the dynamics of each hit on any instrument you want with that so that's that's a tool that you have so so that's just a basic thing there now we're going to start a new project and get rid of this I'm going to discard that and uh, we're going to start with pattern one again and we're going to just do a basic uh, kind of beat here so on one and on three we're going to put the kick. And it's kind of nice, as you click on this, you can hear the sound of the um, instrument or the drum that you're selecting. 
So we're going to do the jazz snare on two and on four. Not on four. Yeah, on two on four. And so if we play this pattern... got kind of a basic track laid down there uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and we're going to have uh, uh, a uh, hi-hat a closed hi-hat and we're going to accent every one of these eighth notes here and so then when we play it we get a All right, so that's that's a basic beat that's often used. So uh, so that's at pattern one. If I click to pattern two, you see everything disappears. That's because that's the next pattern. I can click back to pattern one. There's a pattern one again. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take pattern one and I'm going to right click and I'm going to go copy, and it will ask me what name I want to name it. By default, it names it pattern one number two, and we're going to just use that. And you can see here. There's pattern one, there's pattern two, or not pattern two, there's pattern one, two, and there's pattern two. So on pattern one, number two, what we're gonna do is we're going to, uh, we're gonna change it a little bit. So uh, let's uh, go over here and we're gonna take the cowbell and we're going to uh, maybe hit that on um, right after three, right after two. See how that sounds. And add three in there. All right, so that's slightly different now. So now I'm going to show you how to make a song, which is kind of the next thing in here. So we have these two different patterns. This is one now, and there's a pattern. Uh, no, this is pattern one, two right here, and here's pattern. Uh, one without the cowbell. So we're going to start with pattern one and we're going to play that for two measures and uh, we're going to play one measure of pattern one number two and then we're going to back and play two more of that. Uh, the other thing is right up here you can turn on and off loop. We're going to leave loop on we're going to click on to song because then we'll play the song up here. And you can see it's going to do the cowbell. It's going to start over again. And you do the cowbell. All right, so that's that's basically how it works. So you can make as many different patterns as you want and uh, put them together into the song. And uh, you can actually change the different subdivisions of the pattern. So, like, let's say uh, we copy this again. And uh, let's make it number one, number three, let's call it. Move it down there. All right, so then we have number three here. And so uh, we could actually change the resolution of this to 16th notes. So then we can have 16th notes in it. And we could actually have this running 16th notes down here. So we'll add those in. And uh, we need to change it to pattern up here. So we could do that, for example. So we, we can change the resolution or the size. The size actually will change the length of this. So if we go to, uh, we're at eight resolution. If we go to 16, it doubles the length of that to actually uh, two measures. So that's the way we can kind of control the pattern. And we use the patterns to make a song on here. All right, the final thing is to save the project. So you can save the entire uh, project, which includes the song and the pattern. Or you can export the pattern as 
uh, a hydrogen pattern. You can also export the song, which isn't just exporting the song up here. It actually exports it as a WAV file. So you can s set it as a WAV file. Uh, and there are a couple other formats up here that you can save it as. And you can save it uh, in uh, different qualities of waves up here as well. Uh, so you can use that to export it to another program. And then the other thing you can do is you can export it as a MIDI file and import that into another DAW or another program that can use MIDI files. So that gives you the basics of how to use Hydrogen the Drum Machine. I'm Mungo Dark Matter, and this has been Dark Matters, and whatever you do, enjoy making music, and I will see you next time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.